So I've been using the Nano Texture Glass M4 iPad Pro 13 inch for a week now. And with this Nano Texture Glass, it's gonna mitigate the reflections. So you can see it handles a very good job reducing the light glare on my studio lights and also mitigates the fingerprints. But as you can look at it closely, the bezel is still that glossy finish. The reason why Apple kept the bezel shiny or glossy is because of Face ID and the front facing camera. Uh, Apple could have just have the entire glass in the nail texture and then have the cutouts for the face ID But that is a little bit on Apple like to do so this is the route They went with and in terms of the way how the display feels it feels a lot smoother opposed to the shiny glass material I feel like my hand can glide through the OS iPad OS because usually with the shiny material it has like a little little bit of resistance, but you can see even with the screen on, it still mitigates those fingerprints and the reflections and everything. This is a perfect iPad to take outdoors. But if I compare it to a glossy iPad, you guys can see day and night difference. The nano texture mitigates all those fingerprints. You can almost see me talking in front of the camera, well, towards the camera. And yeah, it makes a big difference. So imagine in outdoor environments, you're having those reflections, but usually you could just increase the brightness, but you can still see the reflections as you can see, depending on what you're watching or what you're doing. Uh, so with this, it's a better viewing experience when you're outdoor. Now, one thing I notice when you're watching content, so in this case, I have the infamous OLED test here. Uh, as we know, the M4 iPad Pros has OLED. The colors or contrast, it feels a bit washed out, and I'm actually gonna open it up on my glossy iPad here. You can see, I feel like you're getting richer contrast, opposed to the nano texture so let me pull this back from the top so towards the left you have the glossy display versus the nano texture right away you notice those reflections you can see even the central layer in the background even my finger versus here you're not going to see anything and by the way both ipads are at its max brightness you could definitely tell there's more contrast on the glossy display opposed to the nano texture but I would say it's not gonna water down the OLED. This is still OLED on your iPad, but look at the top. So you can still see, you get those, you still get those rich black, but even with the gloss, it's not like the that zoom seamless transition, uh, but it's still OLED. And if I grab my glossy iPad here, you just see this whole thing is just, it's all black. It's just a nice smooth transition, or it's just a seamless kind of, design there. So as you can see, they both pretty clear, but when you have it more towards the light, you start to see the reflections in place. Yeah, so you could definitely see the difference. And like I said, the way how you can navigate the OS or interact with the iPad, it feels different. It's, a, it's feel like it's a different type of glass, which it is. And like I said, I can't stress this enough if there's a difference between touching a glossy glass versus a matte display. There's a difference. Now, some things to keep in mind of when you're going with a nano texture, Apple did provide a polishing cloth. So you will need to use this whenever your iPad gets a little bit fingerprinty, which right now it does a good job hiding those fingerprints way better than the glossy because glossy can really show those fingerprints really well. Let me just show you how the gloss one looks. So you can see I have a fingerprint here. It's not too shabby though, I must say. But you will need to use the provided polishing cloth that Apple provides to keep that display nice and dandy. So I highly encourage you guys to put this in your backpack because if you use a regular microfiber cleaning cloth, it could potentially damage the nano texture. So just keep that in mind. But it is an M4 iPad that you know and love, but just in a matte display. Something to keep in mind of, you will have to get a one terabyte or two terabyte iPad Pro, whether it's the 11 inch or the 13 inch. And on top of that one terabyte or two terabyte configuration, you have to spend an additional $100 just to get that matte display. So this is a pretty expensive tablet. This is a $2,000 tablet to be exact. This is the one terabyte model. I can only imagine how much the the two terabyte with the matted display and even cellular, that this is an expensive iPad. Um, watch my review. I've done an entire review video on the M4 iPad Pros. I don't link in the description as well as the 11 inch versus 13 inch. I've done a lot of content on the iPad. Now something that's interesting, I found this on Amazon. It's called the Magnetic Drawing Screen Protector. Let's say you got a glossy iPad or it was just too expensive, which I don't blame you guys. You can get something like this. This is ESR. Let me unbox this real quick, actually. And when I saw this paper-like series, magnetic screen protector. So anytime you want to take off the screen protector, you can very efficiently. And ESR is known for making some amazing products. This video is not sponsored, by the way. I picked this bad boy up on Amazon and the price was actually pretty good. 
cheaper than the paper like which we're going to talk about that in a little bit but this is pretty good so it opens up like a book tech made easier and of course you have your, your polishing cloth your dust removal your wet wipe okay and it even works with tempered glass screen protectors which is very interesting so if you have a screen protector on your ipad this is going to go over your screen protector and the goal of this is to give you a paper like drawing if you buying your ipad for drawing things and writing things down which i highly encourage you guys so now as you can see this is how it is so the material feels like paper this is actually pretty incredible so esr i'm gonna throw a link in the description but just feeling this for a second ah it feels just like paper that's incredible I actually i just grabbed a sheet of paper just to compare it i wish you guys could feel it on this video but side by side the sheet of paper has more rigidity, like it feels like paper, but the screen protector is a very close second, very, very close second. I would say it feels like 90% paper, as opposed to paper just feeling like paper. Okay, so let me put it on the iPad real quick. The beauty thing about this, you don't have to worry about putting it on properly because everything just attached magnetically. So whenever you need it, you go into school, you go into work, you just attach it. And it just automatically just aligns perfectly so yeah whenever you need it you just take it off you can put it back on and it's good to go so now when you're sketching things you have that paper like material and it really do feels like paper i'm not even i'm not even gonna say like it really do feels like paper esr did an incredible job doing them side by side like i said it feels 90 percent paper but paper is always going to be paper is always going to win but just to have that that texture Especially when you're resting it down, you're writing down things, it feels really nice. All right, let me test this out. Yeah, this feels good. It doesn't feel exactly like paper and pencil. It's better. It's definitely better than the glossy display. And the matte display, believe it or not, you would think it will be the same material, but it's definitely not. You still have that, that smooth kind of writing. Now, this pencil is not paired. I just paired it up to this one. But you have that kind of rigidity. Like when you write it on a piece of paper, you feel that texture on the paper. I'm kind of writing some gibberish, but let me put sub, uh, sub to pops. Uh, yeah, so you can even hear the sound effects. Hold on, let me, let me have you guys hear this. So it just gives you that feeling of writing on a sheet of paper. And then whenever you're done, please excuse the gibberish. Whenever you're done, you just rip the screen protector off and you're back to your glossy display. So I think this is going to be your best option. Like I said, this video is not sponsored, but I don't think that many people know about this. People are probably obligated to get the matted display. But even with the matted display, it feels too smooth. Like it, the pencil and the iPad, it, it just it's too smooth. Even though it looks matted and it looks like it's built right into the iPad, you're still gonna need to get something like this because you're not getting that paper-like experience. So let me put this on the new iPad here or the iPad with the nano texture. So make sure it's aligned. It don't have to be perfect too because like I said, you can just rip it right off. And then now you have that same thing and it's gonna work perfectly fine here. Now it is gonna reduce, it's actually gonna reduce maybe the video quality of video. So um, let me go back into the video here because now you're pairing up a matted display with another matted kind of uh, film on top of the screen so OLEDs is basically going to be non-existent so yeah you definitely do see a difference between the two but this is going to just be for anybody who wants to uh, you know write something down draw a picture whatever the case may be so ESR this is a great product I'm not sure like this strip here is magnetic it just attached magnetically it's not an adhesive or anything. It fits the iPad perfectly fine. It's available on the 11 inch and even the 13 inch. And that leads me on to Paperlike. Now Paperlike, we all know what Paperlike is. I'm pretty sure you guys seen a million and one sponsored videos. But like I said, this video is not sponsored at all. I wanted to kind of test out the Paperlike with the ESR. And let's actually open this up. I wanted to make this video real quick too, but I think you guys need to know about this stuff, man. Paperlike is pretty expensive. I think this is going to run you $44. The ESR is going to run you just under $20. So Paperlike is pretty expensive. But I test out Paperlike in the past on my 2018 iPad Pro. When I was going to school, that is. And it works really well. But I always find that it's a little bit pricey for what you're getting. Um, so you are getting two screen protectors. You better be for that price point. 
and you also get in of course your your dust sticker and your wipes and you also get in a nice little handy polishing cloth too and of course you have welcome to the paper like family and i actually bought this for my m1 ipad okay so here's my m1 ipad and i'm just gonna just peel and stick i'm not even gonna do this too well when you get yours definitely want to make sure you align it properly okay so i don't think at the time when i ordered this paper like didn't have it available for the m4 because as we know the m4 they relocated the camera modules here let me zoom this in so you guys can see what's going on i'm not gonna have this perfect but you know i'm gonna have it perfect enough so right away that is a little bit of a downgrade this is a screen protector that you will have to put on so it's not exactly gonna be you know your results may vary but you are risking yourself of getting bubbles and like i said i'm just flying through this opening up my apps and stuff i'm just gonna just fly through this but when you get yours when you get yours you definitely want to take your time with it and of course let me turn off the screen so you guys can see oh shoot <laughs> i was about to rip the whole thing off oh whoa i got a big bubble here Ooh. <laughs> that's what she said you guys get the idea let me fix this a little bit all right yeah I'll, I'll rush through this but you guys get the idea you know what's funny the esr one feels a little bit more like paper than paper like and as you know this is gonna kind of make it feel like you have that matted display i know please excuse the bubbles i just if you take if you get yours take your time with it make sure you align the face id scanner and take a card to kind of smooth out the bubbles but i'm going off of the feel the feel of the paper like i'm gonna have to give it to the esr it, it feels a little bit more like paper let me grab my sheet of paper here kind of feel it it feels more like paper than paper like but paper like feels it's like they both still feel like paper but paper like give you that real raw feeling like this feels like 90 percent paper this feels maybe about like 80 percent paper it still feels good and it's going to be way better than that gloss uh than that glossy material and if I even use my Apple Pencil too, you have that sound effect where you're writing it down and things. But yeah, let me hold this over to the camera. You guys can see that it feels smooth. It definitely feels smooth, but um, whenever you wanna watch your media, you're gonna have to just leave that screen protector on unless you wanna just unpeel it and do the whole process again, which most of you guys are probably not gonna do. Versus ESR, it feels more like paper, and then you can just rip off the screen protector whenever you're, whenever you're ready to get your movies on whatever but personally if you get in an ipad pro m4 i recommend getting the regular gloss um, that's just my opinion get the gloss and then get that esr screen protector like i said it's not sponsored but i think this is a great implementation of that paper like whenever you need it you can attach it when you don't need it you unattach it so you're not obligated to just stick within a screen protector or dishing out you know hundreds of dollars on a matted display and you're not even getting the true benefits of that paper like you're just getting less reflections and of course less fingerprints too as well but other than that i don't it's not really worth going with a nano texture display it is nice but it's not necessary especially for one terabyte too of storage it's okay but so yeah that's just me though but other than that that's the nano texture though all right let me rip this off because these these bubbles are killing me so yeah guys i just wanted to make this one real quick to give you guys my opinion on the nano texture display versus oops i didn't even mean to take a screenshot i did another one uh, just to give you guys my opinion on the nano texture um and i figured i didn't even add that on to the review but yeah here it is gloss versus texture it is a difference but i wouldn't even recommend getting nano texture you're getting less contrast even though it's still there and it's still going to be better but it is less contrast compared to glossy. It's definitely more expensive and you're not even getting those Apple Pencil benefits. You're not even gonna get like the actual paper-like feeling. It just feels like a matted display, which it feels like glass. It doesn't feel like a sheet of paper. It's just more smoother opposed to the gloss. I, I wish you guys can feel this though. I wish you guys can feel this, but it feels more smoother when you touch it on the iPad opposed to the gloss. It just has a little bit of um, resistance when you sliding your fingers down all right guys so let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think and um until next time hope you all have a simple day peace